we're actually going to create the lid on a separate work plane. But on the other work plane, I want to have a copy of this box so that I know that the lid fits. And the reason we're going to put it on a separate work plane is just so there's one enough room to work. And then two, a lot of times when you are 3D printing an object and it comes in like different pieces that you put together, like a box bottom and a box lid, it's a good idea to have two separate files so that they print at two separate times and not all try to print at the same time. So so let's get a copy of this box onto a separate work plane so that we can then start building the lid. To do that, we can go to design and then duplicate. And notice that the name of the file is going to change to, this one says copy of box. So I'm going to change it to box lid just so I'm very clear and looking back at my files on what this object is. So again, you go to design, and then go to properties. Instead of copy of box, we're going to call this box lid. All right, perfect. So now I can move this around. If I edit it by accident, like clicking on it, it's not going to be a big deal because I actually have the, the real box bottom saved on a separate file called box 